Hi, it's uh, Nathaniel from Manda RC, and I'm here just to give you a little bit of a guided tour of my man cave. Um, just to give you an idea of what's on the bench, what's upcoming, what I'm going to be doing, changes I'm going to be making, uh, what we can expect to see in some future videos. At least from my side, Terry's got his own agenda, of course. So, first up on the table, you can see my Cross RC 12 scale T005 trailer, which you've seen on a few videos already, I would imagine and um, it's undergoing some weathering so we'll have a little look at what i've done and what i've got left to do uh, in close-up i think so quick jump cut and we'll be back with the trailer but uh, i've done the wheels and i have done the back end of it a little bit and i have done the axles get those in the light without destroying everything on my desk um so we're getting there with this now, oh, it's uh, a very big thing to cart around on your desk. Very big thing. I uh, had a bit of a paint uh, drama last night, if you've seen that on Instagram. Uh, I moved this and the whole thing, all the mats came with it, and the paint ended up on the floor, uh, and the chair, and me. So that wasn't very good. I wasn't very happy with that. Anyhow, uh, next to it is the Land Rover. Terry's is a Terry's um, WN, or MN, sorry, MN, little Land Rover D90. Um, I don't really know what scale it is, to be honest with you. It's a bit of a mishmash, I think. But, um, yeah, so that's been... I've done the body shell. You may have seen the videos. Uh, I've done a video series on what I did to the shell. So uh, that's got to go back to Terry now. He can uh, he can do the chassis, because that's still uh, untouched. Uh, and there's a few bits and bobs to go on it uh, in due course. So that's two things. The, this is kind of finished. This is in progress. Um... Moving over this side, I've got my general tat area, um, paints, uh, many one of many boxes of spare bits and bobs. Um, these are more like genuine sort of accessory bits and bobs. These are specific scale accessories I've got in here, um, which are going to go on the trailer, uh, or various other bits and bobs. Electrical stuff, all my wires and connectors and stuff basically in there. Spare shocks, uh, little shocks that used to be on the Comanche, which is up there now. Um, I've also got down here, I've got this CB750F Tamiya kit to go on the back of the trailer. It's going to go on there along with the Jeep. So the Jeep, the motorbike and some bits and bobs will sit on the trailer most of the time. Bigger box of spares. And you, these are mostly um, molar spares in there and bigger ones I can't really fit anywhere else. Including all the body panels, the original molar body panels which obviously you may have seen the videos I have done my own body shell so this is the main shelving I've got manuals books uh, TX down there spare boxes and tins and things scalpel blades um, spare paints up on here here's the Marauder uh, it's the 10.2 it's the big orange uh, chassis of course with cross RC MC8 wheels or tires at least on the G made 1.9s, looks all right, goes okay too. Um, I have got a bunch of springs to harden up these axial shocks because this is a slightly heavier shell and uh, I'm getting a bit too much uh, droop uh, sag at the back there. Um, it really needs to be kind of about there, I would think, not there. So that's going to get done. The molar above it is. Um, <sighs> It looks better than it runs. I really don't like running it. I don't find it a good a good truck to run. But I think that's probably... Well, I don't know. I just don't find it a good truck to run. I find it very limiting in what it can do. Um, what I would like to try and do with it is do some... Is use the body shell and see how the body shell would fit on like a, uh, an SCX-10 chassis. Uh, either of these, you know, um, something like that, because I like the shell, I like the look of the truck, but I just don't like how it performs. So that, that this is when I get really bored, this might be stripped out, and I may play with it quite extensively. Um, I mean, the, the the standard chassis has got lots of mounting point changes and all the rest of it. So the, the, this this needs this needs a fair amount of time and energy put into it. Maybe a bit of a voyage of discovery. Um, I've got my kids to dingoes here. Only one of them works, which is fine because only one of the kids really wants to drive at the moment. Um, I've got this little ring here that I keep for sentimental reasons. This is really the first RC I bought for my boy um, for his birthday. It's only a little, uh, tiny little HSP, I think. I can't remember. Yeah, there you go. HSP. 
and it was quite cute for a while and then it s sort of started smoking and uh, still smells of smoke now but it's not the first uh, it wasn't the last of my rigs to go up in smoke <clears throat> long story um, so yeah that's basically me I've got various boxes another box of uh, odds and sods in there um, a big drawer of um, there's the actual springs um, lots of spare poly bags masking tape batteries uh, ramps for the trailer these are the, um, the ramps that go on the back of the trailer to allow the Jeep to drive up it just kind of tape and you know I'm sure we've all got piles of tat Terry got a Bronco TRX Bronco uh, grill which he just gave me I don't know I think he just kept he's got so much tight he has to give it to me my tire drawer and again i'm sure we've all got a tire drawer or tire shelf um got the uh the official pro line um swampers with the uh high mass bead locks off 10.2 which i think are a bit too heavy so i'm going to swap those out i've got my lovely favorite bf goodrich oh original tires off the uh the 10.2 um, I love these tyres, they look amazing, they're so scale and so kind of good looking. Um, big but not balloony, which the, 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 these XLs can, can look a bit balloony. So these are going to go uh, back on the Marauder, they were on here last year, not on these rims though. So I've swapped the rims around and at some point I'll pimp the Marauder up with these. But for now I'm quite happy running the military type. Um, yeah, so that's it, I've got the Jeep up there. The little uh, QQRC or whatever it is, I um, can't remember, but anyway, the, the Willys Jeep that everyone's talking about, um, it's really good, I think it's a beautiful looking kit, it drives better than the WPL trucks drive, um, I can drive it around, I can get it up on the, up on the trailer here, so um, that's its main purpose, it's going to get weathered um, and have a little bit of kind of, you know, scale treatment done to it. There's Big Orange having a rest now for the summer. Um, the spare transmitters, two for the dingoes and a spare one. Uh, over here, my entertainment centre. Um, tools, spare junk, heat gun, new solder gun, old solder gun now broken, scrap Lexan box, uh, video camera charger, 10.2 kit. Uh, I just hold my spare sprues and stuff in there. Um, I'm a sentimentalist, I'm afraid. I can't get rid of stuff. So that's my my first proper RC. And uh, I keep the box for it. Uh, like I keep the truck. Um, I've got this, this is my little tripod that I use for um, shooting when we're out. I'm going to do a static shot. Uh, the video camera will be on this, which is a Velbon X Mini. Oh, down here we've got the Dinky RC, the big Dinky RC 10 scale trailer, which is really cool. Um, Runs nice, can't wait to get that out again. That might be out again soon, I should think. Um, drag the uh, drag the mall around again, because that's really what it's good for. Uh, the little WPL truck, the little blue WPL truck I have is in there. I think it's in this tub, along with Terry's 6x6 WPL, which has knackered, and he's given to me for bits. Um, studio light, hello. And uh, this is my um, makeshift selfie stick for the trucks if you will it's a big manfrotto professional kind of heavy duty monopod with a canon flash bracket that i've reworked so that basically i can hold the stick hold it strap off the way come on there we go so i can hold it like this pointing down the camera mounts in there and I can follow the trucks around yeah, and it works pretty well the, the video cameras um, a Panasonic 4k VX 870 it's got quite a good image stabilizer in it so it, uh, it doesn't mind being moved around too much um, works better than I thought it would so yeah so that's really it so what am I what am I looking at I've got obviously the trailer to finish Land Rover to give back to Terry that needs respringing um, I don't want to mess about with the different wheels and tyre combinations. That needs weathering. Um, and that should see me through to the summer. Oh, that needs building, of course. The, the, the motorbike needs building. That's going to be a thing. It's been a long time since I built a plastic kit. And um, 
and then maybe late summer that needs to be mangled and made usable um the comanche i'd love to run it a bit more so that's going to come out a bit more as well because it's such a a beautiful um shell i think but uh well i would do because i've made it but yeah i think i need to run a bit more as well so not buying anything new really this year because uh the budget's already been blown on this and stuff so uh this year's going to be more about running and fiddling and altering and not so much buying big boxes again i'm kind of done with that for now so yeah there you go so that's my man cave that's what's on the table to be done and um i hope yours isn't as messy as mine <laughs> okay thanks for watching hope you were vaguely interested and made it to the end but uh yeah i'm gonna go and um take the mc8 out now i think into a local playground because it's a bit wet it should be quiet and i'm hoping to get a bit of a apocalyptic feel but anyway that's what's next on the table it is um eight o'clock in the evening so uh yeah i will bid you adieu and saddle up and head out good night bye all